Hello and welcome to the Bible Quiz Channel. Today we've carefully compiled 21 thought-provoking questions to test your insight into the life of Moses in the Old Testament. Are you ready to demonstrate just how deeply you understand these pivotal chapters of the Bible? But hold on. Before we launch into the quiz, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Your support through likes and subscriptions is vital in helping us spread the profound teachings of the Bible to a wider audience. And once you're finished with the quiz, we'd love for you to drop a comment below sharing how many questions you answered correctly. We're keen to hear from you. So, are you prepared to embark on this enlightening journey through the life of Moses and the Old Testament? Let's dive into the video. Question 1. Who was Moses' wife? A. Zipporah B. Miriam C. Deborah D. Bathsheba Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Exodus, chapter 2, verse 21. And Moses was content to dwell with the man, and he gave Moses Zipporah, his daughter. Question 2. What object did Moses cast into the waters of Marah to make them sweet? A. A tree. B. A rock. C. A piece of gold. D. A rod. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Exodus, chapter 15, verse 25. And he cried unto the Lord, and the Lord showed him a tree, which when he had cast into the waters, the waters were made sweet. There he made for them a statute and an ordinance, and there he proved them. Question 3. Who accused Moses of taking too much upon himself in Numbers 16? A. Korah, Dathon, and Abiram. B. Aaron and Miriam. C. Joshua and Caleb. D. Eleazar and Ithamar. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Numbers, chapter 16, verse 3. And they gathered themselves together against Moses and against Aaron, and said unto them, Ye take too much upon you, seeing all the congregation are holy, every one of them, and the Lord is among them. Wherefore then lift ye up yourselves above the congregation of the Lord? Question 4. For how many days did Moses fast on Mount Sinai? A. 30 B. 40 C. 50 D. 60 Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Exodus, chapter 34, verse 28. And he was there with the Lord forty days and forty nights. He did neither eat bread nor drink water, and he wrote upon the tables the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. Question 5. Who buried Moses? A. The Israelites. B. Joshua. C. God D. Aaron Time to think.
The right answer is letter C. Deuteronomy chapter 34 verses 5 to 6. So Moses the servant of the Lord died there in the land of Moab according to the word of the Lord and he buried him in a valley in the land of Moab over against Beth Peor but no man knoweth of his sepulcher unto this day. Question 6. What did God show Moses on Mount Sinai besides the Ten Commandments? A. A map of the promised land. B. The design for the tabernacle. C. A vision of the future. D. The Garden of Eden. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Exodus, chapter 25, verse 9. According to all that I shew thee, after the pattern of the tabernacle, and the pattern of all the instruments thereof, even so shall ye make it. Question 7. Which mountain did Moses die on? A. Sinai. B. Nebo. C. Zion D. Horeb Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Deuteronomy chapter 34 verses 1 to 5 and Moses went up from the plains of Moab unto the mountain of Nebo, to the top of Pisgah, that is over against Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land of Gilead, unto Dan, and all Naphtali, and the land of Ephraim, and Manasseh, and all the land of Judah, unto the utmost sea, and the south, and the plain of the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees, unto Zoar. And the Lord said unto him, this is the land which I swear unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, saying, I will give it unto thy seed. I have caused thee to see it with thine eyes, but thou shalt not go over thither. So Moses the servant of the Lord died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Lord. Question 8. Why was Miriam afflicted with leprosy, as described in the book of Numbers? A. For disobeying a direct command from God. B. For speaking against Moses because of his Ethiopian wife. C. For attempting to leave the Israelite camp. D. For not following the laws of purity. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Numbers, chapter 12, verses 1 to 10. And Miriam and Aaron spake against Moses because of the Ethiopian woman whom he had married, for he had married an Ethiopian woman. And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle. And behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. Question 9. What sign did God give Moses to prove his power? A. Turning his staff into a snake. B. Causing an earthquake. C. Parting the Red Sea. D. Sending manna from heaven. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Exodus, chapter 4, verses 1 to 5. And Moses answered and said, But, behold, 
they will not believe me, nor hearken unto my voice. For they will say, The Lord hath not appeared unto thee. And the Lord said unto him, What is that in thine hand? And he said, A rod. And he said, Cast it on the ground. And he cast it on the ground, and it became a serpent. And Moses fled from before it. And the Lord said unto Moses, Put forth thine hand, and take it by the tail. And he put forth his hand, and caught it, and it became a rod in his hand, that they may believe that the Lord God of their fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, hath appeared unto thee. Question 10. What did the Israelites complain about in the wilderness? A. Lack of water. B. Lack of food. C. Both lack of water and food. D. The heat. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Exodus, chapter 15, verses 22 to 24. So Moses brought Israel from the Red Sea, and they went out into the wilderness of Shur, and they went three days in the wilderness and found no water. And when they came to Marah, they could not drink of the waters of Marah, for they were bitter. Therefore the name of it was called Marah. And the people murmured against Moses, saying, what shall we drink? And Exodus, chapter 16, verses 2 and 3. And the whole congregation of the children of Israel murmured against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness. And the children of Israel said unto them, Would to God we had died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt, when we sat by the flesh pots, and when we did eat bread to the full, for ye have brought us forth into this wilderness to kill this whole assembly with hunger. Question 11. Who did God appoint to be the spokesperson for Moses? A. Aaron B. Miriam C. Joshua D. Jethro Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Exodus, chapter 4, verses 14 to 16. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Moses, and he said, Is not Aaron the Levite thy brother? I know that he can speak well. And he shall be thy spokesman unto the people, and he shall be, even he shall be to thee instead of a mouth, and thou shalt be to him instead of God. Question 12. What did Moses do when he saw an Egyptian beating a Hebrew? A. He intervened and killed the Egyptian. B. He reported the incident. C. He ignored it. D. He pleaded with the Egyptian. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Exodus, chapter 2, verses 11 to 12. And it came to pass in those days when Moses was grown, that he went out unto his brethren and looked on their burdens, and he spied an Egyptian smiting an Hebrew, one of his brethren. And he looked this way and that way, and when he saw that there was no man, he slew the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. Question 13. Which tribe of Israel did Moses belong to? A. Judah B. Benjamin C. Levi D. Reuben Time to think.
The right answer is letter C. Exodus, chapter 2, verse 1. And there went a man of the house of Levi and took to wife a daughter of Levi. Question 14. What was Moses' reaction when he came down from Mount Sinai and saw the people worshipping the golden calf? A. He joined the celebration. B. He prayed to the Lord for mercy. C. He broke the tablets of the Ten Commandments. D. He blessed the golden calf. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Exodus, chapter 32, verse 19. And it came to pass, as soon as he came nigh unto the camp, that he saw the calf and the dancing, and Moses' anger waxed hot, and he cast the tables out of his hands and brake them beneath the mount. Question 15. What did Moses do when the Israelites made a golden calf? A. He praised them. B. He destroyed the calf. C. He left them. D. He joined them. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Exodus, chapter 32, verse 20. And he took the calf which they had made, and burnt it in the fire, and ground it to powder, and strawed it upon the water, and made the children of Israel drink of it. Question 16. What did God use to guide the Israelites through the wilderness at night? A. A star. B. A cloud. C. An angel. D. A pillar of fire. Time to think. The right answer is letter D. Exodus, chapter 13, verse 21. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud, to lead them the way, and by night in a pillar of fire, to give them light, to go by day and night. Question 17. What did Moses do when Pharaoh refused to let the Israelites go? A. He begged. B. He left Egypt. C. He brought plagues upon Egypt. D. He threatened Pharaoh. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Exodus chapters 7 to 11. Various passages describe the plagues that Moses brought upon Egypt as a response to Pharaoh's refusal. Question 18. Who helped Moses hold up his hands during the battle against the Amalekites? A. Aaron and Hur. B. Joshua and Caleb. C. Miriam and Zipporah. D. Eliezer and Ithamar. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Exodus, chapter 17, verse 12. But Moses' hands were heavy, and they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat thereon, 
and Aaron and Hur stayed up his hands, the one on the one side and the other on the other side, and his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. Question 19. Where did Moses flee to after killing the Egyptian? A. Canaan B. Midian C. Goshen D. Sinai Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Exodus, chapter 2, verse 15. Now when Pharaoh heard this thing, he sought to slay Moses. But Moses fled from the face of Pharaoh and dwelt in the land of Midian, and he sat down by a well. Question 20. Who made the golden calf while Moses was on Mount Sinai? A. Joshua. B. Miriam C. Aaron D. The Elders of Israel Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Exodus, Chapter 32 verses 4 to 5. And he received them at their hand, and fashioned it with a graving tool, after he had made it a molten calf. And they said, These be thy gods, O Israel, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. And when Aaron saw it, he built an altar before it. And Aaron made proclamation, and said, Tomorrow is a feast to the Lord. Question 21. Why did Moses have to keep his hands raised during the battle against the Amalekites? A. To signal victory to the Israelites. B. As a sign of submission to God's will. C. So that Israel would prevail in the battle. D. To pray for the safety of the Israelite soldiers. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Exodus, chapter 17, verse 11. And it came to pass, when Moses held up his hand, that Israel prevailed, and when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. Wow, that was an enlightening journey through the scriptures. How did you fare? Remember, whether you aced it or learned something new today, the Word of God is always full of wonders waiting to be explored. Now, if you enjoyed this quiz, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Let's see how they do. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more quizzes and biblical insights. And most importantly, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Comment down below with your score any questions you might have, or even suggestions for future quizzes. Together we can grow and deepen our understanding of God's Word. Thank you for joining us today, and may you always be blessed on your spiritual journey. Until next time, stay inspired.